Tableau is a business intelligence tool used for data analysis, data visualization, and storytelling. Data visualization is a graphical representation of information and data. You can do this using charts, graphs, and tables. Tableau is used for exploratory data analysis as well as which is used to notice trends and patterns in data. It can produce dashboards which help the businesses to monitor their performance. So let's get started. Let's do some revenue analysis and it's going to be descriptive. So this is what the Tableau console looks like. Let's go on and create a new workbook. Click on new and then workbook. Now I will upload my data from the computer. This will take a while to upload, so I'll just fast forward this. Here, you can see our data in the data source tab. So let's click on update now to see the Excel file data. As you can see, we have the order ID, date, status, and other fields. Let's go on to our sheet. Here, you can see that Tableau has separated our columns as dimensions and measure. Okay, so the first thing here we're going to do is to get the revenue per state. So we will just drag the state table into our rows and drag the total into the columns. And you can see that it is a very neat graph already. So to see the labels of the total, we are simply going to press command key and select the total and drop it to the label and there it is let's rename the sheet by right clicking on the sheet and name it as revenue per state let's create another sheet to see the revenue based on month to do that we will simply drag the month table into columns and the total into rows we can play around to see what year the revenue is or what quarter it was for now, I'll just select the month. Again, to see the labels, we will hold the command button and select the month from here and drop it off to labels. And there, we can see our revenues per month. We can rename this sheet as revenue based on month. So let's create another sheet. Here, we're going to see the revenue based on age. So let's drop the age to the columns and the total to the rows. And that's not what we're looking here. So what we want is a histogram. But the problem we are having here is that since the age is the measure, Tableau wants to perform some function on it. So we're going to create bins. So to do that, we'll right click on age and select bins. Let's call this as age bins. And the size of the bins is let's say 10. So we have that right on the top. Let's drag and drop that into the columns. There, that's exactly what we are looking for. So we can see that the age is between 10 to 20. So let's just make these labels more readable. So let's click on age bins and then select edit alias and then change these values starting from less than 20 to greater than 70. And there you go. We have it here. Let's rename this sheet as revenue based on age. So next, let's create a sheet on revenue per category based on gender. Let's drag the total to the columns and the gender as well as the categories to the row. And that is exactly what we're looking for. But here's the problem. This chart is not representable. So let's make things easier and separate the male and the female revenue. So let's go here and create a calculated field. Let's name it as female revenue. Now here we're going to use an if statement, which will give us the value that is in the total column. Click on apply and wait for the calculation to be valid. And we can see that our calculated field is created here. Let's go ahead and do the same for male revenue. As you can see, we have the calculated fields over here. Let's get rid of the total and the gender column here. And let's add the female and the male revenue that we just created in the columns. Let's add in the zero axis that has been made easily 
by just having a zero in the calculated field. Let's just place that in the middle of the two genders. Now let's do another thing. Let's drag and drop the category into zero axis label. And instead of automatic, let's select that as text. Now let's edit the axis. Let's go on to the tick marks. For minor tick marks, there should be none. Let's go on to the gender and name that as category. So the last thing we need to do is unmark the show header for category. So we can see here that we have somewhat of a chart created. But let's just click on this button to turn this into descending order. And let's just do one more thing. Let's reverse the headings for both the gender revenue. We will right click the female revenue and just simply click on reverse. We're going to do the same for the male revenue. And there we have it. We have the female and the male revenue with clearly showing the categories. Let's just rename this by right clicking on the sheet and naming it as revenue per category per gender. Now the last thing we're going to do is build a dashboard. So click here and this will create a dashboard. This is the most exciting part here. We're simply going to drag and drop the four charts we have created from the sheet on the right side. After that, we are going to set the size to automatic. Now to make it a bit more presentable, we're going to drag the revenue based on month down below here. And there, we have our dashboard ready. You can easily read each chart that is fully displayed here. Let's just publish that into our own private workbook. This will simply save our work into the online workspace. I'm naming it as revenue analysis. We can go on to our private workspace and see that the all charts are separately placed here as well as the dashboard we just created. I'll just open this and show you what it looks like. So there, we can see our dashboard. We can see the revenue per state. We can see the revenue per category per gender. We can also see the revenue based on age as well as the revenue based on month. Our lab session ends here. Thank you so much for watching.